Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover a technology preview feature in RHEL 8, which is the Composer tool. Composer on RHEL 8 allows you to create customized RHEL images in several different formats, including OpenStack, QEMU QCOW2, VMware VMDK, Amazon AMI, and Azure VHD. Simply follow the directions in Chapter 6 of the RHEL 8 Installing and Deploying RHEL documentation to get Composer installed and configured for use on your system, which I've already done. Composer can be used either from the Cockpit web interface or from the command line. To get started, I'm going to log in to Cockpit um, as the root user. On the left, you'll have an image builder option. If you don't see this, make sure you follow the directions in the documentation for installing Composer. Listed here are the blueprints. These define the properties for your custom RHEL images. We'll go ahead and click on Create Blueprint to create a new one. And we'll give it a name of Test Blueprint 1. And then we'll click Create. And from here you can choose what components you want to have present in your custom RHEL image. In this example we're going to pick two different packages to include. We'll include the cockpit package. Just click the plus sign to add that. And then we're also going to, going to include the corn shell, which is the KSH package. And we'll click the plus sign for that. You can also see um, over on the right hand there, it says dependencies. And if we click on that, it'll show all the dependencies for the packages that we've added to our blueprint. We'll go ahead and click on commit to save these changes to the blueprint. And now we'll go up here and click on Test Blueprint 1. From here we'll run the details. We can see the name and we can see the components. And then we can go over to the Images tab and see that there's no images. So we'll go ahead and click Create Image. And then we'll choose what type of image we want to create. We can choose an Amazon image, EXT4, Live Bootable ISO, OpenStack, a raw disk image, QEMU, QCOW2, a TAR archive, Azure, or VMware VMDK. We're going to use the QEMU QCOW2 for this example, and we'll click Create. For the sake of time in this video, I've gone ahead and created a similar blueprint and generated an image from it, so we want to wait for the image creation here in the video. So we'll go back to this pre-created image for Blueprint 1 and go to the Image tab. You can see it's completed here, and we have an option to download. I've already downloaded this image and created a VM from it and booted up that VM. So you can see that the image is booted up here. Um, however, one of the issues that we're going to run into is, for security purposes, um, by default, images created by Composer have the root account locked and no other accounts are included. Um, so we cannot log in with a root account or any other account in this image, unfortunately. However, there are several options you have to either set the root password or create a custom user in your image. These options include using the Composer customization option, or installing an RPM package into your image that creates a user, or using something like CloudInit to configure the system the first time it boots up. Next, we'll look at using the Composer customization option to create users and set passwords. In order to do that, what we'll do is we'll go back um, to Cockpit, and we are going to create a new blueprint. This one we will name test-blueprint2, and we'll click Create. And then again, we're going to add the same two uh, packages. We'll use Cockpit, and we'll also add Corn Shell, which is the KSH package. Once those are added, we'll click the Commit button, and then we'll go back to Blueprints. So at this point, what we want to do is add some custom configuration into our Blueprint. So to do that, we'll switch to the command line and we're going to use the Composer CLI tool. We'll run Composer CLI Blueprints Save Test-Blueprint2, which is the blueprint we just created. This will create a file, testblueprint2.toml. You can see in this blueprint, it has the name um, and then the packages that we just added, Cockpit and Corn Shell. What we want to do is add some extra configuration in here. I've prepared a file called customizations.txt, and this has several stanzas. There's a customizations.user that has the name set to root and then an SSH key defined. There's another one with a name equal to Brian with a password hash defined, an SSH key defined, and what groups I want the user to be in. 
And then I have another one for the Ansible user, again specifying a password and an SSH key and a user group. Now to generate these hashed passwords, you can use the command listed here, this Python 3 command. So if you run this command and then type in the password you want to use, it'll generate the password hash and this is what you put in the configuration file so you don't have a clear text password in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cat this customizations and append it onto the bottom of that uh, blueprint file that we exported. So let me cat that file and we can see that we have the original stuff in there including the packages and then we've added in this extra um, customizations.user stanzas to, to create these users. So now we'll use the composer-cli blueprints push command and give it the name of that file. This will put the um, configuration into composer and we can verify that by running composer CLI blueprints show test dash blueprint two. And here you can see we have the name specified, the packages specified, and then that user configuration specified in there. So at this point we'll switch back to the cockpit interface, click on that blueprint, go to the images tab, and click create image. And again, we're going to use the QEMU QCOW2. And again, to save time, I've gone ahead and already done this with a similar blueprint and generated an image. So if we go here, images, you can see that it's already been completed. And I've already downloaded this and created a VM with it. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that VM at this point. And what we can do now that we added that customization is we can log in with the Brian account that we had specified. We'll type in the password that we used to generate that hash, and you can see that we've been able to log in. We can also um, verify that that um, SSH key that we specified was set up, and we can verify that the Ansible user was created, and we can verify that the corn shell was installed as well, which it was. Also note at the top when we logged in it had that message activate the web console with and it had the systemctl command listed. That shows that cockpit was installed as well. But what if we wanted to have the Ansible user set up with the sudo no password option and we also wanted the cockpit web interface to start automatically the first time the image booted. We can do that if we include a custom RPM which is what we'll look at doing in the next example. To demonstrate that we're going to create another blueprint. So we'll click create blueprint. We're going to name this one test-blueprint3 click create and then we're going to add in those two same packages cockpit and we're also going to add in corn shell and then this time we're going to add in a third package a custom RPM that I had created for this image so we'll type in custom and find that custom image which is called custom RPM and we'll click the plus sign here we'll go ahead and click on commit and click commit again and then we'll go back to blueprints. Now what we'll do is we'll switch back to the command line and we're going to use the composer CLI tool to add in that user configuration just like we did last time on the second image. So we'll do a composer CLI blueprint save test blueprint 3. We're going to append that customization uh, for the users onto the bottom of that file. We'll cat the file just to make sure it looks okay and we have our three packages, Cockpit, Custom RPM, and Corn Shell, and we have our user configuration. And then we'll go ahead and do a Composer CLI, and we'll do a Blueprints, Push, and then the name of the file, test-blueprint3.tml, and that'll save that configuration into Composer. Next, we'll take a look at that RPM file, the Custom RPM that we included in here. If we see the specs directory, we can look at the RPM spec file. You can see that this is a very basic RPM. What we're going to do is have it create a file, etsy slash custom RPM, and then run two commands. It'll echo ansible all all no password all into etsy sudoers, and it'll also run the systemctl enable dash dash now cockpit.socket in order to enable cockpit. If we look at the sources directory, we can see the content of that file it's going to create and all it says is file created by custom RPM. 
So by including this custom RPM into our image, it'll set up that Ansible sudo configuration and also uh, start cockpit at boot and create that file. So we'll switch back here and we'll go ahead and create a image. And again, we're going to use the QAMU QCOW2 image. And again, to save time, I've already done this um, with a pre-created image. So if we go to that pre-created image and click on images, you can see that that's completed. I've already downloaded the image and again, created a VM for it. So we'll switch over to that VM. And you'll notice right at the top here, it has that web console listed. That shows that our custom RPM was able to have um, cockpit started at the first boot. And then we can go ahead and log in as the Ansible user this time. And we'll type in the password for the Ansible account. And then once we're logged in, we'll run sudo su dash. And you can see it did not prompt us for a password, so that's our um, no password sudo configuration working. We'll go ahead and cat the SE sudoers just so we can show that. Let me maximize the window here so you can see the bottom. So you can see at the bottom there it has Ansible all equals all, no password all, so that did take effect. So you can see with this custom RPM, we were able to have it um, set up the Ansible user with no password and also have cockpit start in the first boot. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a great day today.